So after we'll come back. After we've run um we've run our model, the next thing is to do valid to, to validate our model. This is very important because this is what will tell us whether our we can fit whether our result can conveniently predict slum in our study site. So let us run different kinds of validation on our model. Normally, we don't usually run validation on the training data set because we are to use the um, reference data set that we, we did not use in our model. So let us run that one at a time and see what the confusion matrix is like. So basically, this is just giving us the values of what is proper, what is, um, is only giving us what is predicted correctly so it, what this tells us is that out of our non slums 105 of it was predicted correctly why not nine wasn't but um to get better information i will suggest that um we look at the information value um package on her to understand how some of these um all this how some of these um out some of these terms what how they work and what they do specifically so in this mini mock we will not um spend some time we will not take time to describe them rather just to only show what the result is in case you are interested you can always come to the app folder here i already did that and then you can just take the time to read about the information value package because um that is basically what we are using so we are going to be doing a diagonistic um so we are basically going to do some diagonistic just to check what our result is if our validation is um if our model is good and if we can proceed further so we will use the here you can find some um description of of some of the diagonistic um of some of the diagonistic um operations we want to carry out you can come to the um help function to to understand better some of these um terms but we will not spend time on that so let us just have a look at some of this um diagonistic uh, let's just run some diagonistic operation on our model and see what the result is all about so we can then proceed to the next wait so let's run the, let's see the sensitivity of our model um it says we have is 93 percent good that is good what about the specificity it's also give us 95 percent which is also very good with what with respect to precision of our result we also got 96%, which is also very good. So now let us um, let us plot our rock curve and see what the result is. So our rock also give us a 92% accuracy. So all in all, our model was able to predict um, result. Our model result is good and we can proceed to the next step or fitting our model with the raster image. So um, in some cases when, for instance, you have um, a poor uh, validation, then probably some of your, maybe in some cases you may need to um, change, um, we need to get more covariate or reduce the covariate or find out the most important covariate. The reason why we are using this covariate here is because we've already conducted some um, literature review and done some work already. So we already identify the important covariate for our study center, for, for our study area. But for your own study site, you may have to do a bit of test and trial. Also try to do some literature review and probably do some surveys, conduct some surveys to identify the drivers you may want to use in your model there is no fast rule on this but you need to uh, 
understand what your study area is all about and the main thing you really want to um your goal the objective of your of what you of your aim what you really wish to achieve at the end of the day so now that we are sure that we are very okay with our accuracy so we will have to save our model in file so let us save 